So here we are. Um, first day of the new year, and um, <clears throat> I'm sort of having um, oops, gallbladder. I hope it's not a gallbladder attack, but um, I'm gonna keep on pushing forward for just for you guys. So we're going to introduce first. Um, before we get into the sleep phase, we, we gotta get this over with, right? I've been trying all night to stream this part, right? So, we're going to introduce the inaugural Otaku 5, right? But before we get to that, we got some business right now. We are going to, um, we are going to acknowledge those that did not make the cut to the Otaku 5, but first, right? We are going. I am going to explain to you how I arrived at that. First of all, the qualifying rules. First and foremost, okay, let me uh, get my get my trusty yellow pad. I wrote, I wrote it all down. Okay. okay. So basically, if you're an anime that returned for returned for or completed. Uh, a brand new run within uh, within the year within the participating year or if you're an anime that is part of a franchise that of course that started that um, uh, that either uh, what you call this um, started or completed their run this uh, the, this participating year you're in, okay? I will cons I will consider you for the Otaku Five. Now, so in order, no, well, we gotta we have to funnel that out. Not every, not every recurring anime can can make it to the Otaku Five. It's just five. Okay? You got, we're we're dealing with five with just five slots. Here. So I'll have to I had to incorporate the basic principles of the Otaku lifestyle. Okay? Principle number one. The story. Only the story matters. Right? That's principle number one. Well, in order for me to, uh, to be, well, in all my years as a Otaku man, I end with the, uh, with the plethora of animes, especially this year. Alright? You, you just got to rely on the synopsis before making a decision to watch it. So, if the storyline is good, then by all means, I'm gonna watch it and review it. Now, principle number two, do not subscribe to hype, right? For me, well, I gotta, uh, I gotta trust the storyline first, right? And um, if it's, well, let's see, if I see it's, uh, it's good enough, well, I can well I can I can also safely conclude that the hype is real, right? If the storyline is that if the storyline justifies the hype. Okay? But hey, storyline first for me, right? And principle number three. If there's a lesson to be learned, watch it. You gotta you gotta approach you gotta approach uh you gotta approach being on the Tahoe with this, alright? Always use your head when it comes to uh, when it comes to watching animes these days. If if there's no lesson to be learned, why waste your time watching it, right? <clears throat> if it's if it's not going to uh, if it's not going to give you uh, if an anime is not going to give you value in in the end, you're just wasting your time. You're just there for. You're just watching that anime for entertainment, but no. Wait. Right? Anutaku should not do that. Okay? You gotta use your head. So, if there's no, uh, if, if there's a lesson to be learned, watch it. Right? These Otaku principles, I, 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 I've used actually in both the Otaku 5 and the upcoming Lifestyle 10. Especially the Lifestyle 10, right? I got a. Uh, I had to adhere to those principles and the qualifying, uh, the qualifying rules. Okay. So without further ado, let's um, 
Well, let's... Let's address the elephant in the room. The special mention. What you're seeing here is the key visual to the final season of Attack on Titan, which garnered special mention. Why only special mention? Look. Uh, it's only four episodes in. And... Uh, before I could subscribe to the... Before I could uh, say that the hype is real, I watched uh, Attack on Titan. I saw Attack on Titan Chronicle. Because, uh... Okay, is the hype real for the final season? Oh! There's a, there's a recap movie of the first three seasons. Okay, let's watch this. So after watching it, I thought, mm, Okay, Attack on Titan fans, you got my attention. Let's review the final season. Right, but... Um... Sadly... Um... I have yet to learn any lesson from, from final season. All right, it's uh, right now it's it's all politics. It's all uh, it's all bad grudges, right? There's nothing educational in that. All right, hindi nga dapat tularan eh. Okay, hindi nga dapat tularan eh. So it only gone so. Attack on Titan only garnered special mention for me. Right? So, with that, set, with that settled, we move on. Ooh. Fireworks. Oh, Corvus XR, welcome to the stream and thanks for the follow. You got the taste. And you're just in time. Okay. Now, we cite this. Okay. So, <clears throat> what recurring anime fell under honorable mention? This one. The Seven Deadly Sins. This is the key visual for Season 3, which, uh, which aired the bulk of its episodes in 2020. It actually ended in 2020, so it qualifies. It qualifies. And, well... It almost made the Otaku 5, but <clears throat> there were only a few uh, there were only a few lessons learned from from season three. And of course, um, not to mention the uh, the boo-boos made by the uh, the uh, the two episode boo-boos made by the animators wherein um, you still you guys still remember that? Meliodas looked like a rag doll. <laughs> Grabe, ano? Parang minadali lang eh. Parang minadali lang eh. Notwithstanding the fact that it was it was still a great season for uh, for the Seven Deadly Sins. Okay, I'm a fan of the Seven Deadly Sins. Um, yeah. It was the only, um, it was the only thing that, um, kept, uh, this franchise from making the Otaku 5. From making the, uh, the inaugural lineup, uh, the inaugural lineup of the Otaku 5. There were only a few lessons learned from, from the, from this season. And, well, tell you honestly, well, season, but not just season four; its final season will be will start airing this month, and I hope they um, they make up for it, right? So for now, Seven Deadly Sins garner honorable mention, right? By the way, the full name of this is Seven Deadly Sins Imperial Wrath of the Gods. I just I just only made it season three, pala. Medyo madaling i madaling sabihin. It's quick. Um, it'll, be, it'll be quicker for my. My vocal cords, okay. <sighs> so you're you guys are now asking, um, so if Seven Deadly Sins didn't make it, or even Attack on Titan didn't make it, well, tell you honestly, I uh, I wasn't planning on <laughs> I, I wasn't actually planning on including Attack on Titan, but uh, 
The hype is real. And maybe that's one reason why I only gave it special mention because I submitted to the hype for a microscopic bit. Alright? So, you're now asking, so what are the recurring animes that made your list? Made your list, boy. So, first up for the Otaku 5, the inaugural Otaku 5. Here's the first member. Toaro Wagakono Railgun. Now, <clears throat> despite um, having a um, having a so so finale, alright, overall it was a really good season for Railgun. Uh, the series that spawned Toaro Majutsu Index and Toaro Kagako no Accelerator. Okay? If, th if this doesn't make you a franchise, I don't know what will. Right? And it's all of JC Staff's, um, all of JC Staff's pet projects. Okay? <clears throat> Railgun, um, Almost didn't made uh, almost didn't make the Otaku Five actually because um, I almost pinned it. I almost pinned my decision not to include this on the finale. But so it would be unfair because um, even before I started reviewing season three, it's a really good. It had a really good uh, first arc, okay, and the second arc wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad either wasn't that bad either so um, wow all right for me no um, but comparing it to season two I think there were a lot more lessons learned from season three or Duaro Kaga on the real gun D it's the official name I don't know. I only uh, named it season three para medyo uh, to know to know where to know where I stand when it comes to when it comes to this franchise. So yeah, and most importantly, season three didn't get didn't get the hype it deserved, right? Because everybody was so busy with. Uh, so busy waiting for uh, Re Zero. Uh, well, mas hinay pa kay Yu-Gi-Oh Seven, <laughs> all right. Mas na hype pa Yu-Gi-Oh Seven kaysa dito eh. To tell you honestly, but yeah, they were waiting for Re Zero. Uh, the Holy the the uh, the Holy Trinity of Manwa getting their getting getting their first anime adaptations. Everybody was waiting for that. And nothing else. So this, so season three didn't get didn't get the hype. All in good because the the story the story uh, the storyline uh, involving this. Imagine, Misa kan Mikuto achieving level six, although forced. Okay, but wow. Toma did Toma, o, Toma almost did not um, did not save her. Toma almost failed in saving her. Talagang ane nakain na siya ng nakain na siya ng ah uh, ng new yung, yung power na that was forced upon her. But she had the potential for level six. Okay, talagang uh, we all knew what um. Uh, what potential, what potential Misa ka, uh, ano, potential Miko to had. She is capable of reaching level 6, pero in this case talagang, she was forced to level up. Inindus lang sa kanya. Uh, wow, okay, what an ending to that arc. Okay, what an ending to that arc. So, first member of the inaugural Otako 5, Tohado Kagako no Real Gun. Next. Hmm. I mentioned ko na anina. Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright? 
whether you agree with me or not, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a brand franchise. Is a brand name franchise. Okay. How old is this franchise? 21 years? 21 years experience? Well, uh, if you include the uh, if you include the age of the uh, the original manga, I think which came out in 1990, I think 96, that would be almost 25 years. All right, well, that's almost 25 years. None can be uh, the only franchises more more established than it are Pokemon and Gundam. Okay. So Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, you have to include that, especially this um, the seventh series, Yu-Gi-Oh Sevens, right? Thirty episodes in, a lot of great duels, a lot of great, well, you can you can call them battle scenes, but we call them duel scenes. Okay? But we call them duels because it's like a duel. We uh, we fans and players call them duels, and a lot of life lessons to be learned. Okay, believe it or not, especially this one. Especially Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. And, um, uh, it got hype, but then the first three episodes, it went, um, fans, some fans easily gave up, but if you're a true Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, you're, you will never give up on this, on this franchise. Even if, uh, even if you think this is bad. Come on, guys. <laughs> Konami had to change studios because Studio Gallop nearly destroyed Brains. Right? It nearly destroyed Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains by um uh, first first few episodes puro recap. Oh my god. That Studio Studio Gallop really um really destroyed their reputation with Yu with Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. Right? And now Konami wants to forget that there was a Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. The series that introduced the League Summon, and now they're trying to make up with this. Okay, so they switch studios. Bridge is now handling the animation, but the duels, the, uh, the storyline, pretty good. Okay? It's really good, and they're introducing not just they're they're introducing not just a summoning method here, but an entirely new game format, okay? the Rush Duel. So if you if you plan on taking up this game, you might as well go. You might as well go rush duels first, okay? Because well, the game has the game has evolved a lot since 2000. Okay? Since since it was invented in 2000, okay? 20 years. So yeah, and okay, um, the synopsis was good because I. have Already um, dealt with the synopsis as early as Jump Festa. As early as Jump Festa 2020. And they've already teasered the, the storyline. So, mm -hmm. Okay, it's again. Ano nora natin to? Tal fans naman tayo ng franchise. And um, there was a little bit of hype, but I did not subscribe to it, of course. The Porket, uh, the Porket favorite anime franchise. Oh, Papa ka hype, please, kana, you know? Gotta be objective. So I did not submit to the hype first. And true enough, we got we got a potent we got a potentially great uh, we got another uh, another great Yu-Gi-Oh series in the making here. It's only 30 episodes in because it's too early to tell. Alam naman natin lahat na this might this might go 100 episodes again. Okay, this might go 100 episodes again. And we're not um, seasons. I feel that season one is not even done yet. Because we're into, I think we're into the first, uh, the first major arc of the series, right? So that is why Yu-Gi-Oh is in the inaug is in the in the inaugural lineup of the Otaku Five, right? All right. So um. Sure, uh, well, actually, uh, most anime fans are not not familiar with uh, King's Avatar, but it's actually a Chinese, uh, Chinese anime franchise. Probably, um, 
one of the most relatable, the most relatable anime franchises in recent memory. This is TV show season 2. So, basically, uh, Lip, uh, Mikko Dak in season 1 gets, um, his protein retires him, but in reality, he's fired. <clears throat> they, uh, well, uh, fire, getting fired, uh, some of us. They lead him off, they lead him Then, uh, seeking work, he finds, uh, he finds it in, in, uh, in a fashion shop just across the street. <laughs> Uh, boss there hires him as a ship manager and uh, the game glory the game where he where he is uh, legendary for opens uh, his at the same night so boom he's at it again it's a game again and his road to the top road back to the top begins now in season 2 it was all voting right <clears throat> the entire season was spent uh, was focused on him building his own things Right. So, there were funny moments, there were, uh, it's called this, uh, online politics, and, uh, well, all I can say is, if, if you're an online gamer, this is the enemy for you. Okay. Now, this wasn't hype, also in, um, uh, episode 2020, this wasn't hype, but, uh, I don't know, it, it's non Japanese, so, mainstream anime fans wouldn't care. But season and fans, yeah, they would because uh, some season and fans are also gamers, so can this, right? And well, uh, the synopsis and um, to all for promotory purposes, I saw the uh, final and finale of this month. I thought, hmm, I'd uh, like to send me, like to send me uh, a book to, to watch and review it. And I had fun, I had fun both in review it, that's why. In this list. That's why it's on this list. And well, uh, learned a lot of lessons actually. How to uh, uh, I am uh, I am a salesman professional. Okay. I am a uh, well, part time on part time basically. basically. Semi retired. I'm a semi retired salesman and well, uh, yes, you the, the, the main pro tag has been picking this video from some team, some players, and well, in my own too. He's got his own team now, and they start to. So you, uh, from a manage from a management point of view, you can also learn. If you're, uh, if you're, if you're managing your team, you can also learn. If you're into coding, or if you're into network marketing like me, you can you can take some notes on this anime. Also, right? So it's this anime is quite relatable for gamers. So <clears throat> another movie top five, The King's Avatar. Ooh, <laughs> didn't expect this, huh? But actually, um, uh, it is going to be the top of five. Why? What? It's a real of a classic from 2000s. Okay? A horror. Uh, exactly. Um, a dimension. Uh, it's a classic of the dimension genre, right? That's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of gore. <laughs> there's a lot of blood being spilled. All right, and it's quite. It's quite the sort. The side of the anime side of through the Wii mode, I realized that, um, yeah, I should watch the original as well, right? I should watch the original as well. So, yeah. When I saw the um, synopsis of this, and but it's quite familiar. Yeah, let me do some research on that. Oh, okay, now I. Yeah, but the 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 sound the sound of the like, uh, rings a bell. And it comes from two thousand and <clears throat> and I've uh, I've heard of this anime from. From fellow of other anime source times. So, I know what to do. So, yeah, it's quite. Even. even oh, this is good to see. It's really disturbing. And, uh, yeah, there are also lessons. There are also lessons learned, right? Especially uh, the most recent arc. The one involving uh, the Buddha girl there, Sapako. Yeah. I think it's the most socially conscious arc I have I've ever come across. It's the most conscious arc. Although it's, I don't know if you call it, uh, it's not a full blown arc. It's just a mean arc because it's just five episodes long. It's five episodes long. So yeah, but it's quite relatable and it tackled a uh, resistant social issue. Right? You, can, you, can, you, can, you can read that in the papers or online. So it's quite a lesson. Quite a lesson. So the final member of the Otaku fight, Higurashi. 
If you have seen Reboot, it's only just you. You watch it. Uh, you start watching it now, right? We're already in the second half of the... Uh, the final member of the Mother of the Fight is... Inuyasha. What you're seeing here is the TV one to see off. Yasha Inuyasha. Which I... Check her review. Check her review. Rebel synopsis, uh... I thought, ooh, okay. Finally, finally Inuyasha gets some continuation of sorts. Gets the continuation, continuation of sorts. Although, uh... Then we can watch the... Si Inuyasha, Kagome, and even Seshuro, right? So... Inuyasha and Sumo's daughters are now under here. <clears throat> so far, yeah, it's a uh, pretty good anime, right? Pretty good anime. The Oxys palang, uh, medyo, yeah. I'll be excited to watch this. So... Uh, it, it was hyped a little bit. It was hyped a little bit from... Uh, from spring, when it was announced. Uh, yeah, from spring. It was, it was hyped a little bit. But, uh, not as much as ReZero or... Uh, or even um, with the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, okay? And, yeah, it's living up to its real expectations, because Inuyasha is a great anime franchise, right? Aside from the original series, there were, I think, three or four movies, right? That's a franchise, okay? That's a, a legit franchise, okay? So, this, that's a franchise is alive and well, okay? It's alive and kicking. And, um, a lot of lessons learned, okay? Believe it or not. If you can learn some life lessons from, especially if you're um, uh, especially if you're not a tweet, or um, or if you're always in the or if you're always in for money, right? So yeah, so that's fine. So running out the hot week. So let's get it all the way down. The top of five are Inuyasha, Inuyasha, King's Avatar, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Toharu Kawilga. So yeah, and it's over.